We are starting to get ready for the day. It is gonna be a busy day. We have a 10 hour road trip planned. That does not include stops. So I'm estimating with the baby, we're talking 12, 13 hours at least. We've never done a road trip with Haley. We flew with her before. She's four and a half months old. So this is the first time going on a road trip with Haley. I think the most she's been in the car so far is about an hour and a half. So we're doing a big jump. She has flown before and she did really well, but I feel like the car is gonna be a challenge. This entire week has been a challenge for us. We have been so busy. We we counted up the hours last night. I think we were averaging four hours a night. That being said, this trip is supposed to be more of a relaxing one, so we are both looking forward to that. We're actually headed to Katie's family in Tennessee, and then we're gonna be traveling with her family to South Carolina to her grandparents to celebrate 4th of July. So we gotta get going here, but thankfully we did most of the packing last night. We do gotta grab some baby stuff and finish packing a little bit of ours load up the car, and then we're gonna get going. So this video is gonna be pretty unfiltered, pretty raw on what's gonna happen on this road trip. Katie and I were talking last night and we were trying to decide if we were gonna film or not just because it's been so crazy. But we were both like, how do we pass up the opportunity to film our baby's first road trip, first family road trip? So it's gonna be a fun day. Hopefully gonna make a lot of memories. Let's get it. Look who's awake. Haley, you ready to go on a road trip? Haley. You go road trip? She's still waking up. Do you want to go road trip? You and me both, girl. You and me both. I was so tired. Oh my goodness. You ready to go party? You want to go road trip? <laughs> She's Yay! so cute. Haley, if you're ready to road trip, smile. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's my girl. I love you. I love you. Say love you, daddy. Love you, daddy. Okay. I am officially on baby duty. Mom is gonna get in the shower. Say hello, everybody. Say hello. What are you looking at? You looking at yourself? Guys, recently she has been staring at herself in the mirror and she thinks it's the funniest thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we are in here trying to figure out how we are gonna fit everything in the car. If you're new here, we have a very small car. Um, it's normally not an issue because we can lay the back seats down and put suitcases in it and whatnot. But today, since we're traveling with an extra person, it's gonna be a challenge. Packing with a baby is a whole nother ball game. We flew with her a couple months ago, I think. And like, we were overweight on all our suitcases. So the nice thing about driving is we don't have to worry about weight, but space is gonna be an issue. So this is actually a nine day road trip and we managed to pack all of her stuff, all of my stuff, and all of Katie's stuff in one bag. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Gonna grab this last minute stuff, load up the car and get out of here. I cannot with her laughing. Like how am I supposed to get anything done with you laughing at me like that? Okay, that was pretty easy. Mom had all the stuff ready to go basically. Just had to grab a few things, throw them in a bag. Mom is killing it today. She also has these toys to hang on the car seat to try to keep Haley entertained. Plus it's super nice that Katie's brother is with us. Although we're gonna be crammed, it'll be nice to have him back there just to make sure she's okay. I just looked outside and these two are sitting there. She's holding his finger, sitting in her seat watching cars drive by. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Here's that suitcase I was telling you about that we all packed in somehow. It's not even that big, that's what's crazy. Guys, I almost forgot my get ready stuff, which would have been really bad. Also forgot to put deodorant on, which would have been really bad, especially for everyone in that car. We were talking and I've literally used the same deodorant ever since I can remember. Like, whenever I started wearing deodorant, I just stuck with it. But she was reordering her deodorant last month and was like, I'm gonna order you some. Apparently I've been missing out because this stuff is way better. Guys, this deodorant is from Native. Absolutely love the company. They make daily staples like lotion, uh, body wash, toothpaste, obviously deodorant, hair care, skin care all made with clean ingredients. The number one thing I love about the deodorant is the odor protection. Guys, it's 72 hours. That is pretty good. Also, the deodorant is aluminum and paraben free, which is great. Super clean ingredients. And then also, where'd I put it? They have a sensitive one, which Katie uses, and that's made without baking soda. So that is also great. Native has a ton of different scents you can choose from, which is really cool. I love that part of it, because you can get like a beachy smell, or you can get a sweet or a coconut smell. Katie got these two, so this is a lilac and white tea. This is like a sweet floral smell. Uh, this is mine. It's the sea salt and cedar, which I absolutely love. I was trying to think of a way to describe it. I guess it's like outdoorsy, but still fresh at the same time. So I love that. And then Katie also has the sandalwood and shea butter, which I have smelled this one. I honestly think this is my favorite. It's kind of got that shea butter smell, 
still fresh without the floral. So all three of these are legit. Right now you can head over to Native Site and get 20% off your first purchase using our code TravisKady. I'll leave that on the screen, but it is a limited time offer. So head over to the site so you can stock up and save. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, what's up? What's up guys? First time seeing you on the vlog today. Hey. I have been running around like an actual crazy person. I've done about three workouts. Super mom. I have been feeding Haley, changing Haley, fed Haley twice, packed. Then I had to like repack because I forgot all my toiletries, forgot my curling iron, but I'm ready now. Everything's ready to go. Guys, we managed to squeeze in the car. It fits, barely. Warden is gonna be squeezed in the back seat, so I kind of feel bad about that. I'm gonna switch off with them every little bit because I get super car sick, so I have to take breaks, but I'm not gonna make them sit back there for like 11 hours. Last minute check, diapers, wipes, clothes, get ready stuff, baby stuff. Stanley. Stanley. House is clean. House is clean. All the lights are off. Lights <laughs> off, air on high. I think we have everything, if not. Too bad. Too it's bad. It. We're leaving, we are getting on this road trip. We made it about 10 minutes down the road and we've already made a stop. Caramel frappe for breakfast. What is this one? Strawberry acai, but I got a Trento so I could share with you. And then I got a bacon green sandwich with no bacon. Half for me, half for you. Pumpkin bread for me. Now it's officially a road trip. Before we get too far in the trip, we're gonna give our predictions on when we think we're gonna get there and how the trip is gonna go. I think the trip is gonna go pretty good, except for we're gonna have to stop one extra time for Haley for either a feeding, diaper change, something like that. And I think we're gonna get there at 1024. The GPS right now is predicting 915, but I don't An think it's right. Extra? What do you think? Well, it's including all the stops already. So I'm gonna say ETA 935. So giving ourselves a 20 minute buffer. And I think the trip's gonna go well. I think the first five or six hours, Haley's gonna do amazing. And then I think she is gonna get a little restless the back half of the trip. But I think overall, it's gonna be good. We going on a trip? Where are we going? Okay, we just made our first stop. Right now, we're only scheduled for two more stops. So we're gonna sit here for 25 minutes, it says, and charge, maybe get some food. Haley's eating right now. Get out, stretch her legs, get some energy out. So, so far, so good. It's been pretty smooth. Okay, we finished charging and we're going to get food and there's like zero food that we recognize. No chains, no nothing. So, taco bamba or bamba? Bamba. I'm gonna go with bamba. Guys, check out these tacos. Kate is over here. Look at that. What do you think? Best food ever. The guac is the best I've ever had. What do you think, Haley? You like it? This girl is having a good time. Anyway, if you're ever passing through Falls Church, Virginia, check out the Taco Bamba. Then check it out. Haley is getting a little restless. She's in her car seat, and I started letting her watch Baby Bums like last week, and she is obsessed with it. You can hear it right now. So I was hoping to save my phone trick, but it didn't work. I had to pull it out early. So we're sitting here watching Baby Bum and Coco Melon. You like it? What do you think? Her teeth are bothering her again also, so she's been gnawing on everything. I just put on teething oil, but yeah, she's getting it all going today, so hopefully it's a good seven hours left. We made it to stop number two. We are somewhere in the middle of Virginia. I think we're basically in Virginia the whole rest of the way until the very end and then we get into Tennessee. So if you know anything about down south, we are on 81 for hundreds of miles. So it's easy driving, but we are in the middle of nowhere. It's funny because the first place we stopped was at a super popular area. All the chargers were full. Like we had to wait for like two minutes to even get a spot. Then we come here 
They have the Chargers at a comfort in. Nobody is here. There's nobody at these Chargers. Just us. So in a way, that's kind of nice, but it's so random because Tesla places their Chargers at, I guess, just different partners in random spots. So sometimes you get lucky and you're at like a sheet, somewhere you can go inside, get snacks, stretch your legs, use the bathroom, and then you're at a comfort in at other times. So didn't get too lucky on this stop, but it's still nice. We're gonna stretch our legs, it's a beautiful day. Haley just woke up from a nap, she's been doing so good. Katie does think she is done napping for at least a good while, but she has done so good this trip. Sometimes the car does make her sleepy, so we will see. Okay, so you've done flying, now you've done driving. Which do you prefer? Pros and cons, give it to me. Flying, 1000%, all pros. Really? It's so much shorter. And the flight to Tennessee is like two hours, so it's nice. I feel guilty putting her in a car seat like multiple times and getting her out. She seems to be doing fine, but even just for my mom guilt, I say flying so I don't feel as bad. But she's really happy. She's doing good. Like, take her out every two and a half, three hours, feed her, let her stretch for like 30 minutes, but I think I'm stressing more than anybody. Who's the best girl? Who's the best girl? Hello! Hello! Who's the best girl? Who's the best girl? Who's the best girl? Hey, DJ. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. These are wardens. These aren't even mine. Kate behind the wheel. A rarity, but she acts like a F1 driver. Formula 1. F150? No, F1 is like Formula One. It's, a race. it's like truck. super F150. fast cars. Oh, I put it in ballet on the accent. Uh, okay. What are you doing? I went in ballet and I was trying to hit Katie. You're on Travis, man. All right, buckle up, guys. We've got two hours and 16 minutes to our next and final stop. And then our ETA has bumped to, let me see here, 11.03. So as long as we get there safely, it's a great trip. So Kate's gonna drive a little bit. I'm gonna finish out the trip, but gonna try to get some work done. So, so far so good, it's a good time. Guys, she did it! I tried to make her switch, but she said she's fine. I only did two hours and I'm still like falling asleep. You're a beast, babe. Mm. This is our final stop, and what I'm finding, guys, down south, they must put these locations at very just random spots because we're at another hotel. There's also a beautiful sunset happening over that mountain over there somewhere, but I don't think you can see it anymore. So it's been good. It was a nice drive. We are two hours away. What time is it, babe? 8.30? 8.15. 8.15. ETA is still around 11-ish, so Haley is awake. Oh, sweetheart. For a bottle. Are you okay? What's wrong? Mommy's gonna get you a bottle, okay? Can daddy have kisses? I You're love doing you. so good in the car. I You're love you. Good girl. I'm You're gonna spoil girl. you all week. Cause you were so good. You're you were so girl. good. You're gonna get spoiled. You're such a good baby. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> We've been sitting here and I forgot to plug in the car. Can you stretch? Can you stretch? Can you stretch your legs? What do you think of the lights? That's crazy. So once we get to Tennessee, we're gonna be there for five days, trying to get this girl to burp. Come on, Haley. Anyway, we got some cool stuff planned. We're supposed to go on the lake with Katie's dad, which will be fun. I'm sure some of the family will tag along. Maybe golf, which will be fun. And then I think Katie is going to the Sisters Dress Boutique warehouse sale. We're actually going to South Carolina Monday with a lot of the family to celebrate 4th of July at Katie's grandparents' house. Did Are she you burp driving? yet? No, but she's holding the wheel. She's holding the wheel. Such a big girl. So that'll be a fun time. And actually we're gonna be road tripping with Carlin and Evan. Why are you making faces? She's doing it again. She's grabbing the wheel. Every time she's grabbing it. Okay, just grab the wheel. She's standing up now. Drive, Haley, drive. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be road tripping with Carlin and Evan because they just got a Tesla, which is legit. Shout out to Duke Crew. So we're gonna be following each other, which is gonna be fun. So it's gonna be a good time. We're super excited. Definitely ready to get to Tennessee. 
Haley's ready to drive there herself. This apparently. is the last time we're buckling you up, okay? Last time. You can do it. You can do you it, can Haley. Do you it. can do it. We're about to go see Layla. Dance, baby, dance. Dance, baby, Get dance. Get it, Haley. Okay, we made it to Tennessee, finally. Oh, Met up with this up, dude dude crew. I can't believe they have a Tesla. Let's go. What's funny is they were out and we literally got home at the same time. Are the kids inside with the babies? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yeah. in bed. And, um, uh, Ellie's over. They're out here partying, so we just got here. A long trip. Warden is like, thank goodness I'm home and out of this car. Look at her laughing at Evan, babe. <laughs> Did you miss your Uncle Evan? Oh my goodness. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I gotta get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I gotta get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Dude, you're like an adult laugh. How are you so happy? Get a mascara. Here, hold these hands. She's like, I'm just glad to be out of the car. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. They are all upstairs already. I just came down to grab the suitcases, but Haley is stealing the attention already. Everyone is obsessed with her. She's so sweet. She did so good. We are thankful we made it here. We're thankful it was a safe trip. Sadly, no one guessed the right time. It was a lot later, but again, we made it safely. Haley did great. It was a great trip overall. We made it. We're looking forward to seeing the family. Don't leave yet because we are getting ready to cut to B-roll of the rest of the week, including the 4th of July celebrations, the family seeing Haley. It has been three months since we've been here, so I know they have been looking forward to seeing her. So it's going to be a great time. As far as the talking goes, this is probably going to do it for us. Also, I want to say that Katie is the absolute best mom in the world. Like, she takes care of Haley so much and so well. Like, all her needs are met. Haley does a great job, but part of the reason everyone goes, she's always so happy, she's always so great. I honestly think it's because Katie does such a great job making sure she's comfortable, making sure the diapers are changed, making sure she's fed. So big shout out to Katie. And in case you're wondering, I do not try to get all the FaceTime on this vlog at all. I love doing it for the family, but I also love seeing Katie being a part of the vlog. I know you guys do as well. So I am not trying to hog the camera. Hopefully you guys know that, but she is such a hard worker. She's doing all the behind the scenes work. Today it fell that way. Way, but we're gonna relax today. She's gonna try to relax and get some rest tonight So just wanted to add that in there. Thank you guys so much again I'm gonna show you that b-roll right now. It's gonna be a fun time Hopefully you guys have a great 4th of July and we will see you next time. Peace out